Hey everybody, this is Bobby with VC Designs and I am going to share this super cute card with you guys today. I just got back from vacation several days ago and I made this card for a card swap several months ago. I can't even remember what month it, that we did this, like maybe in May, I think, April or May. It's, it was a long time ago. So I'm standing here trying to remember how I did it all. Hopefully I'm going to show you guys and we'll do it correctly for you today. But this is probably one of my favorite cards that I have ever made. And I'm going to share it with you guys today how I did it. So it came about because in the card swap I had watercolor paper, but I had to make sure that I had enough to make for everybody. And so that's how I came up with the design was trying to use my watercolor paper that make sure that I had enough on hand because I didn't have time to order any. So your base is just going to be your basic uh, thick, basic white cardstock. And that is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of watercolor paper. And I'm just reading my notes. This piece is three and a half by five. And then what we will do is die cut this section out right here in the middle with the deckled rectangle dies. So I'll just move that over there. I'm going to use my white embossing powder. This is a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. It's about three quarters and I think I cut mine at four, four and a half, something like that. We'll just, you know, taper the ends here in a minute. And then we're going to use some linen thread and some of those pretty gems. So this piece of watercolor paper is just a scrap piece and we're going to just do our two little starfish out of that. And this is the strip I just told you that will stamp the sentiment on. So I'm using, or I used, this is the Seaside Wishes Bundle. This was my second favorite. The Little Duck Pond one was my favorite. But this one is absolutely second. I love anything tropical, beachy, that type of thing. I absolutely love. So I'm going to clear this off just really quick. I know I can put my ink and everything right on here. I just don't want to get that a mess so I'm just gonna use this mat that I've had for several several years and I like the way that it works and so that's just what I'm gonna do this is gonna make it a little bit slick I think so I have just two cups of water and I'm gonna use one for my light and one for my dark and so I'm using pecan pie reinker and my crumb cake we're just gonna set those there and then I'm using Knight of Navy balmy blue and pool party and then for the little um sand dollars i'm going to use peach pie and calypso coral you have to excuse me i have had sinus issues for several days and i will have to um if you hear me snuffling i'm sorry that's what i wanted to apologize about um, but what I'm going to do, let's do the Calypso Coral one first. So let's just bring those two in. I'm going to move this piece of paper out of the way. And I'm just going to put a little bit. I will have to um, pause the video to dry this with my heat tool or the video would be forever long. So I like to just get my brush wet and then get my paper wet. Give it a good soaking because I like that the paper moves the or the ink moves and then I also like to make sure that I have a lot of water as I start out so I don't have to worry about and I can't get that drop to go there we go so I don't have to worry about it being too dark but I just picked it up and just kind of randomly did that I'm going to grab a paper towel and then go in and you just want to be careful with your darker colors because you don't want them to overtake and as you can see I put way too much ink it just takes a little bit when you're doing um, working with your reinker so don't waste more than what you need and I'm just gonna go back in there and then I liked a little bit of the white showing not too much on this one because this was gonna be our shell let's put just a little bit more and just let that run and then I'm just gonna if you get too much I, I always kind of like just dab it a little bit like that to get some of it 
and then I'm just going to put this on the piece of paper towel. We'll dry it all together here in a minute, but I want to clean my brush really well. And I'm going to pause really quick so I can get some wipes and paper towels. Okay, now I'm going to put down just a little bit. I got to remember, I'm not, I don't have to do 20 cards. I'm only doing one. <laughs> so I'm going to do crumb cake and pecan pie. I'm just going to put one tiny dot and hopefully that's going to work. The night of navy we really want to be careful with because that is very dark. Okay. And then this one I think is balmy blue. Nope, it's pole party. Those are very light colors. I should have changed my water, but I'm going to hope for the best. And that they'll work with me and it won't, won't, won't make my paper orange. Okay, so I'm just going to put my my watercolor paper down. I'm going to actually clean my brush really well, but it's still coming off a little bit pinkish. I'm going to start with this color, and I went ahead and put water all over, and I really wanted more of it co covered than not. I mean, it was okay if I had a little bit of white, but I really wanted more. I'm just going to put a little bit of ink down right in front. And that's my darker color. I didn't want to start with that color. So I'm going to start with the crumb cake. And I just kind of went back and forth. And some of these you got to be careful with, just like this one. It can look a little bit dirty. So you don't want your paper. You know, we, we're trying to, to get the sand look, not dirt. And then just let them kind of bleed together, too. So just kind of go up. And you can bring that back down just like that. And then if you have too much water on there, you can dab with your, your paper towel. But I just kind of ran them both up. I'm just going to stop with that right now. We'll, we'll work into the blue. So I tried to go from my lighter to my darkest. And I believe that this one is the pull party. So just go back and forth a little bit, clean that off, and then go in with balmy blue. And the more ink you pick up, you're going to get darker with it. And then we're going to go in and be very careful. Like I said, this one is our dark color, and I want to bring it down into that next color that's right there. So let's go back in with the pool party just to darken it up a little bit. And balmy blue. And then I'm going to pick up more of the uh, Night of Navy. I, want it, I do want it to be a little bit darker. And if you have too much water and you're trying to get it to be a little bit darker, you can just, like I said earlier, I'm just going to pick that up and wipe that. And then you can wipe. And it will leave the imprint, you can see there, of your paper towel or whatever you're using. But then you can just cover it back up. And then you just keep going and Putting in the colors that you want, <clears throat> where you want them until you get the color that you're looking for. If you want it darker or lighter. I really wanted mine light. Okay, so I am happy with that. I'm going to leave that. Now I'm going to have to pause it because I have, I let mine air dry. I just set them over on my counter and let them air dry. But of course we can't do that for the video. So let me clean up my mess. I'll dry this and then we'll be back to finish it. Okay guys, I'm all cleaned up. This is what it looked like after it dried. So that is both of them. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to get my embossing machine. And we're just going to take the hybrid embossing folder. And you're just going to put that image and you can see, you know, if you look at it, what is going to be embossed. And so I'm happy with that because I'm getting those bubbles and I mean I could move it over a little bit but I'm just going to leave it 
like that. I've got to have, grab my other plate because this is a 3D. So let's just run that through there. And that will emboss it. show you so you can see that it's embossed there. The color is really not picking up good on this. Uh, I wish it showed a little bit. Now what we're going to do is die cut this square out and then we're going to die cut two of the starfish. So I'm going to put this in here first and grab this die and you just kind of want to put it you know as best in the center as you can and I have some tape I think I might I thought I had tape yep I do so let me grab this is a new roll I think that I haven't started let me grab some that I'm already using I think I would feel more comfortable if I put two pieces on this just to make sure and then these down here, we're just going to randomly, I want to get a mixture of the color. So that's what I'm doing here is trying to move that around to get a little bit of the lighter and then a little bit of the dark. I'm going to take this off and then we need to cut one more of these out. I think I'm going to do it right. In there that looks like that piece right there had a good variance of color let me move this back dropped everything because i was going over there okay and i want to put my die back move this back hold on just a second pick up everything i dropped on the way back over there Okay, and then we'll just remove this section and take this off, being careful not to rip our paper, just like that. Let me use my tape so I can save that for later. And then we'll grab the piece of basic white and make sure I have that opening up correctly. And then we're going to pop this piece up with dimensionals. Not this piece, this piece we're gonna pop up with dimensionals. So just put some of these on the back. Just like that. And then I'm gonna put adhesive on the back of this layer here. So just go around because we want this piece to be flat and the other piece is going to be popped up. It's going to be raised. And we're just going to center this the best you can on the card front, just like that. And we'll peel off these. Okay, maybe we will. And we'll just put this right in the center of that little opening right back where it came from. Okay. So make sure you put it down with the colors going in the right direction. Just like that. Okay. Then we'll move this off to the side and I'm going to bring in my Knight of Navy strip and my embossing tray. Clean that off. Use some person mark to stamp up the sentiments. And I'm just going to put it right in the center. Just like that. And then we'll use the white embossing powder. And I thought, yep, there it's my tweezers. Pick it up with the tweezers. Oops. And then just put your embossing powder all over that image. 
and I like to look at it to see if it looks good and that looks okay. Oops. I feel like my lid's not on there right, but it looks like it might be so. Okay, now we'll just heat set that powder. mess out of the way. And I feel like this banner is just a little bit thicker so you can cut it probably a half inch is probably what what I had done. I'm trying to see if I popped those up with dimensionals. Not the neatest. So just put a couple down on the back. Oops, just put that right in the center, like so. I'm going to move my heat tool out of my way. Okay, and then let's grab these little bias. And I do need my minis for these, they're just so tiny. Florida was so nice this year. It was so relaxing. I love going every year. As soon as we leave, I'm already excited for the next year. Okay, I'm going to grab my linen thread. And we're just going to make a cute tiny bow. So I'm just going to leave it on the spool until I get off the amount that I need. And then I'll cut it just like that. And this one we need to make a little bit bigger, I think. Not, not too terribly big. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive in this corner. And then we'll just put that bow right down there and kind of manipulate it to go the direction we want it to go. Like that. And then we'll put these guys down. We'll just put one. And then two like that. And then we can just clip these ends to make them a little bit shorter. Don't quite need them that long. Okay. And then we'll grab some of these flat adhesive backed pearls. And just put them on the front. And I used different sizes. I used the large and the small. So I'm just looking to see where I put them at on my original. And I'll just do that with this one. And I think that that is it guys and as you can see every time you're going to get a different um card this one is my original and then this is one i got back because we didn't um some people weren't able to stay in the swap so i got one back but as you can see each one of them is a little bit different the, the colors are just a little bit different but i think it's super cute this is like i said it's probably one of my favorite cards that i've ever ever designed. I hope that you guys like it and if you haven't please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.